welcome to the Summerhood Sisters Clap channel. So for this week's challenge, it was basically to do a summer makeup tutorial and I was just at the beach and I was like, okay, what's something I could do? And I thought of immediately the beach. So yeah, so I came up with this really pretty look. I'll zoom in for you guys. So this is what it looks like. And yeah, so it's a really pretty bronzy color and then you guys will see the rest. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, I hope you guys are going to enjoy this video as much as I did making it. Um, I will see you guys then next Saturday. So see you guys later. Yeah, see you guys later. First off, I'm just going to try to like um, get like even out my face. And I'm going to be using the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse in the color Creamy Natural. It is too light for me, but I'm going to bronze it. So, yeah. So now once that's all in, I'm going to be taking my L'Oreal True Match Powder, and this is in the shade N3, so it just looks like that, and that's what it looks like. And I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. powder brush, and just sort of getting rid of the shine on my face. Now I'm going to be taking the NYC Color Wheel Mosaic Face Powder, I don't know, just this... And this is what it looks like, and then the back looks like this. And I got this at Target, and I really do like to use cheap and affordable, um, like, makeup items, just because where I live, I don't really have a Sephora. All I have is Ulta, and that's 20 minutes away, so it is pretty far. So I'm just going to be taking this brush, I don't know... I honestly don't know where this is. And I'm just going to be applying this all over my face. I know you're not supposed to apply bronzer all over your face. But I'm... I'm just sick of buying, like, summer shades and stuff. So I'm just using bronzer. Okay, so now on to the eyes. I'm going to be going for a shimmery sort of bronzy look. So I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Color Tattoo. And this is in the shade bad to the bronze so I'm just gonna open this and it's a really pretty bronzy color so then I'm gonna be taking my Ulta um, number two shade there it's probably hard to read and I'm just gonna be like swiping that so then I'm gonna take this on my head shall we begin and, wipe, and like make sure it's really easy to put on my face on my eye you can use a Let's begin. Your finger too. I just like using this because it's my fingers get too messy otherwise. So I'm gonna fast forward this and yeah. So now I'm gonna be taking this. Ulta eyeshadow and it's it is in the shade Bone and it's just a really pretty matte. Um, almost skin color, and I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush, which just looks like this, and I'm just going to be applying this up here, and this is just going to sort of smooth out the um, harsh lines in my color tattoo. So, I, and then I'm just going to put a little bit of it into my inner cre inner corner. Wow, I cannot talk today, guys. So that is the eyes. It's a really pretty bronzy color. So now I'm going to be taking my Elmay Incense Eye Color. And this is just in the shade Charcoal. And it just looks like this. And I'm going to put it in this part of my... On, like, the upper lid. So just like that. I'm put, sort of putting it into the waterline, too. And as you can see, it almost smudges down to the bottom of my eyes, which is perfectly okay. So now I'm going to be taking my Revlon Eyelash Curler, and I'm going to be curling my lashes. So I just like to go really close to the root and curl them and hold them at least for 30 seconds. Also with the eyeshadow, you can use an eyeshadow base, but you honestly don't have to. Because it is, it says it stays on for 24 hours. So I'm just going to curl the other lash, and that's what it looks like so far. So now onto the mascara. 
So I'm going to be applying the Maybelline Falsies Volume Express Mascara. Just because my eyelashes are long enough by itself, they're just not volumistic, I guess. And this is just what, what, this is what the brush looks like. As you can see, it's a little cur curved. So I'm just going to take this and apply this. After I've applied all my mascara, I'm going to go, let's go to the cheeks now. So I'm going to be applying my Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush, and this is in the shade Fresh Pink. And I think it's a really pretty, just light pink and sort of natural kind of pink. So I'm just going to take my finger and like swab it, I guess. Kind of run it, and that's what it ends up looking like. And I'm just going to smile and just blend it into my cheeks. As you can see, it's really not that pigmented at all, but yet, I don't know, it's really natural. Okay, so for the lips, I wanted to keep it pretty simple just because the eyes are pretty dramatic itself. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to be taking my um, EOS Lip Balm. It's going to focus. And this is in the um, flavor, I guess you could say. Um, what is it? Strawberry Sorbet. So I'm just going to take this and apply this to my lips. And then um, I'm just going to apply a really quick um, sort of like base for my, um, not a base. Oh my gosh, I cannot talk today, guys. Um, I'm going to be taking a lip gloss. So I'm going to be taking the baby lips, and this is in the color, or in the shade pink punch and it just looks like this it's a really pretty pinky color so I'm just gonna take this and sort of apply this to the middle of my lips and then sort of blend it out just because if you do apply this all over your lips your lips look pretty wicked so and then I'm just gonna like go like that so now that you have sort of a pop of color to your lips, I want to make it sort of shiny. So I'm going to be taking my um, Lancome Juicy Tubes, and this is in the um, flavor Fruity Pop, and it's a really pretty, just shimmery color, and that is like the app. That's what the applicator looks like. Oh my god, guys, I'm so sorry. I cannot talk today. So I'm just going to take this again and apply it to the middle of my lip. And there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, um, this is my beachy look. I hope to see you guys next Saturday. Um, but yeah, so this is the finished eye look. And then this is the lip look. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And sorry, I'm like, there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope to see you guys next Saturday. Gosh, I seriously cannot talk. I was going to say Thursday. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and see you guys later. Bye.